On this TA Tech Tip, I will demonstrate using the Thermal Advantage control software how to program a series of experiments on the Q5000SA sorption analyzer. In the Thermal Advantage control software for the Q5000SA, you may program a series of experiments to take advantage of the auto sample capabilities of the instrument. To begin, first select the Summary tab and then enter the sample name, pan type, auto sampler pan location, and the data file name. Select the Procedure tab to then select a test template. From the pull-down list, you will find a series of templates of experiments that are commonly used. The options include a humidity ramp, an isohume, sorption isotherm, adsorption desorption, as well as salt deliquescence. You may also choose to use a custom template, which allows you to write a customized method. On the Q5000SA, the most commonly used template is the adsorption desorption. You may choose to enable or disable drying. The maximum drying temperature is 85 degrees Celsius. You may choose to enable the stabilization criteria, which is used to shorten the dwell time of an ISO hold if the sample has achieved weight stability. In this experiment, the sample temperature is held isothermally at 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature can be edited from 5 to 85 degrees C. A stabilization criteria can also be set to minimize the length of time the sample is kept at each incremental RH step if the weight has stabilized. In this experiment, the initial RH and upper RH values are entered in along with the magnitude of the RH increment. In this example, the initial RH is set to 10%, the upper RH is set to 90% and the steps are performed in 10% increments. Select the advanced button to set the data sampling interval. The default setting is 5 seconds per data point. You may also choose to start the experiment after the sample pan weight has stabilized after being loaded from the auto sampler tray. In certain instances, you may want to uncheck this box. The post-test button allows you to return the temperature and humidity back to standby conditions or method end conditions. Additional notes can be entered into the Notes tab. Comments will be saved to the data file. Now that you have programmed run one of the sequence, you may now append a new experiment. As you will note, the pan position number has incremented. You may choose to change the pan position along with the sample name and data file name. You may choose to use the same test method as the previous run or use a new test method. Let's look at the humidity ramp experiment. Drying is enabled or disabled, temperatures held constant, and humidity is then ramped from an initial RH value to a final RH at a constant rate typically rates of 0.5 percent per minute or less are used to give the sample sufficient time to equilibrate. This is a good test for deliquescent salts. Now you may select calibrate and then tear. Select the pans that you would like to use for your experiments. Allow the tear process to complete and then load the samples onto the pans on the auto sampler tray. Start the sequence by selecting the green start arrow. Now you have programmed a sequence of experiments on the Q5000SA. As you have seen, programming a series of experiments on the Q5000SA is simple and straightforward. Please join us next time for a TIA Tech Tip on analyzing sorption analysis data in Universal Analysis.